Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how SQL Analyst can use ChatGPT for generating SQL queries from scratch. Throughout this video, we are going to be prompting ChatGPT to generate SQL queries for us from scratch without actually providing it dataset or the schema of our database, but we will only provide it the table structure without actually defining the relationship between the tables of the database. So let's get into it. First thing that you need to do in order to allow ChatGPT to generate SQL queries for you is to ask it to act as a SQL specialist. So I'm going to do the same. Firstly, I'm going to prompt it that you are a SQL expert and you will help me a non-SQL expert to pull out some reporting from the database. Okay, so once this is done, the next thing is to provide the structure of your tables inside which you want to run the queries or for which you want to generate the queries using chat GPT. So I'm going to do the same and you'll have to provide the information for each table separately. So firstly, I'm going to provide the information about my first table. So I'm going to say the first table is called pets and it has the following columns. Four columns are pet ID, name, kind, gender, age and owner ID. And you can see that I haven't provided any data type for any of the column of the table. And similarly, I am going to provide it information about my second table. So the second table is called owners. It has the following columns, owner ID, name, surname, street address and city. And you can see that this owner ID has been referred inside the pet table as well. But I have not defined that it is going to be the foreign key from the owners table. And you will see that chat GPT will interpret it on its own and will fetch out the primary key and the foreign key from the table on its own. So now when everything is set up, we are going to move towards prompting chat GPT to generate SQL queries. So the first prompt that I'm going to give it is can you create a query to show the ID name and age of all the pets whose age is greater than 12. So it's a very simple query for a beginner working on the SQL to generate. Now let's see how chat GPT responds to it. Hit enter and wait for it to generate response. Okay, so it has generated the response for us and you can see that it has correctly created a SQL query for us where it is selecting the pet ID name and age from the pets table where age is greater than 20. Moreover, it has also explained the query so that if you are a beginner working on the SQL, then you can easily understand the generated query by looking at the example. And this is the most interesting thing that it has also given you a suggestion that if you want to include information about the owners of these pets, then you can use a join operation between the pets and the owners table since they are related by the owner ID column. This is what I was talking about that I didn't define it that owner ID in the pets table is a foreign key for the owner table but it has understood and interpreted itself that this owner id is a foreign key for the owner table and it has defined that you can use it to join the two tables together and it has also given us a query if you want to find the data of owner of the pets whose age is greater than 12 and it has also given us explanation for the query let's check it whether it is producing the required output or not so i'm gonna copy the query from here and I have created this database in my MySQL workbench having the tables, owners and pet. Now I am going to paste this query here and let's run it to see whether it gives us the required output or not. Okay, so it has given us these pets and the age of all of these pets is greater than 12. So this means that this query was absolutely correct. So that's a really cool thing. So this query was simply giving us the name, ID and age of all the pets whose age was greater than 12. Now what if we want to find the pet who has the maximum age? And to do so you can write a prompt that looks like this. So you have to say can you create a query to give me the name of the pet that has the highest age. And in addition to just the name column you can provide it any columns that you want to display in your output. Let's run the query and see the response. Okay, so it has firstly selected the name from the pets table. Then it has ordered the result set by age in the descending order and limited to one so that the first record after sorting it into descending order will be filled. And it's a great approach of doing this, but there are other approaches as well, such as you can use the Mac function and simply pass the age to it and it is going to fetch the pet having the maximum age but this one is also fine so until now we were giving it simple prompt to generate simple sql queries now let's make it a little bit complicated 
Now let's quickly verify whether this query is correct or not. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my MySQL workbench. I'm going to paste the query here and press the run button. And you can see that it has given us the name of the pet whose age is greater than all other. And here if I also select the age of the pet in addition to the name and now run it. So it is going to show me that this pet having age 15 is the oldest among all. So this means that this query is also correct. So in the previous prompt we were simply asking it to give us the name of the pet having the highest age. But what if we want to find the name or ID of the pet whose gender is male and has the highest age. Or let's say that we want to find the pet who has the highest age and the gender is male and we also want to find the name of the pet who has the highest age and is a female. So we want to find the oldest pet in both male and female category separately. So how can you do that? So let's prompt it. I'm going to say, can you create a query to give me the name of the pet having gender male that has the highest age? Also give me the pet ID and name of the pet having gender female that has the highest age. Let's change it to pet ID and name of pet so that the columns are uniform. So we wanted to get the pet who have a gender male and is the oldest and we also want to find the ID and name of the pet whose gender is female and is the oldest. Let's see how ChatGPT responds to it. Okay, so this is not how I was expecting it to generate the response but it's interesting. So you can see that it has used the max function here but inside the max function it has provided a case statement to create separate conditions for the male and female pet. So you can see in the first max function it has provided the case that when gender is male select the age and same goes for the max function inside which you have provided the case that when gender is female then select the age as female max age. This query should work fine but if a person is a beginner with the SQL language then this might be a little confusing for him because firstly it is using the max function and inside it it has also added the conditional aggregation or a conditional statement to find the maximum age for the pet. So it's not the best response that chat GPT has generated and it has also provided us that if we want to retrieve the pet ID and name of the pet with the highest age for both genders then you can modify the query like this and it has provided two more max functions with the case statement and this is rubbish because right now we were only selecting two columns from the table but if the table has 12 or 15 columns and we were selecting all of them for both the genders so in that case there would be like 30 max functions inside which we'll have 30 different case statements and that's not really good practice in coding. So let's see if we regenerate it how it will respond. So I'm gonna save and submit it again and this time it has generated a better response but it has generated two separate queries for us. The first one is for the pet with the highest age and gender male and the second one is for the pet with the highest age and gender female. But it has not created a query where both the operations were done in the same quiz. So now let's test the validation of this query. I'm gonna copy it, go back to my MySQL workbench, I'm gonna paste it and I'm going to execute both the queries one by one since both of them are different queries. Press enter and you can see for the pet where the gender is male, Simba is the oldest one. Now let's execute the second one and you can see that for the pet whose gender is female, Stove is the oldest one. So separately these two queries are giving us the same output but we wanted it to give us a single query that would give us the name of the pet whose gender is male and is the oldest and the name of the pet of whose gender is female and is the oldest among them. So this shows that you need to have some knowledge of SQL before actually using chat GPT for generating SQL queries for you because the response generated by chat GPT might not always be correct and there might be some errors or some ambiguities that you need to resolve before actually reusing it. Alright, let's move ahead. So previously we have discussed that the owner's ID is a foreign key for the pets table and this is the field that joins the two table together. 
So Net prompted to create a query that somehow joins the two table together. So I'm gonna prompt it. Can you create a query to give me the information about all the owners that have pets? So actually it should scan through all the records inside the pets table and see that which of the pets have the owner ID column and then it is going to match that owner ID with the table owner's owner ID and the records that match the two values will be fetched. So let's see how ChatGPT actually does it. Let's hit enter and wait for it to generate the response. Okay, so it has generated the response and it has selected distinct order ID and name, surname, street, address, city, okay. From the owner's table, joined it with the pets on owner ID equal to p dot owner ID. And that actually what I was expecting it to do. This is absolutely correct and it has automatically understood that the owner ID in the pet table is actually the foreign key for the owner's table and it has joined the two tables on the condition where the owner.owner ID is equal to pets.owner ID. Now let's check whether this query is correct or not. So I'm gonna copy it, go back to my SQL workbench. I'm gonna paste it here and execute it. And it has given us the owner ID, owner name, surname, street address, city, pet ID, pet name, and everything about all the pets and all the owners. So it has successfully joined the two tables together. So this means that the query is correct. It is also explained why it has used the distinct keyword. So you can see that the distinct keyword is used to ensure that each owner is only listed once even if they have multiple pets. Okay, so that's a really cool thing to do to use the distinct keyword. Okay, so from this description, I got an idea to generate an other prompt because here it says that owner can have more than one pet. So let's generate a query to get all the owners that have multiple pets. So for that, I'm going to prompt it to can you create a query to find out the owner name that has more than one pet. Let's hit enter and see how it responds to our prompt. Okay, so the response has been generated in which it is selecting owner ID and owner name from the owners. It is joining it with the pets on owner ID and it is grouping by the owner ID and owner name having count p dot pets greater than one. This seems fine to me, but I'm not sure that it would work correctly until unless you run it on the actual data set and see what is the response. But apparently it seems that it is going to fetch the data for the owner where the count of the pet is more than one, which means that it has multiple pets. Now let's test whether this query is correct or not. And I'm really skeptical about it being correct, but let's see. Go back to my SQL workbench. I'm gonna paste it here, execute it. Okay, so it has given us the correct output. It has given us the owner ID and owner name and also the number of pets owned by each owner. So this query is also correct. So in this video, you have learned that ChatGPT can be a valuable tool for the SQL analyst, but it has certain limitations that hopefully will be eradicated in the later versions of ChatGPT. So overall, ChatGPT is a very good and valuable tool for improving your coding efficiency as a SQL analyst by generating queries from scratch by simply prompting it. So I highly recommend all of you to try this for yourself and learn how you can use ChatGPT for generating SQL queries and for other purposes as well. And in order to master it, you need to learn how you can actually prompt it and how you can provide it the appropriate context to describe the tables, what you want to get from the tables and the business problem that needs to be solved by generating the queries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep learning and keep enjoying. Thank you.